are arriving in Tuscania, uh, ready to get off the bus in a very few minutes. Uh, once they are at the parking lot, uh, I have a microphone so it will be very easy for you to hear me during the short uh, walking tour. We will have uh, walking up via Roma, which is the main road of the town, and I lead you to the park. Um, where is a very an incredible, beautiful view. And along Via Roma, there are shops. Uh, so during your free time, you can have a good uh, coffee in the coffee shops that are along Via Roma, or uh, uh, you can buy something typical of this area. Uh, I don't know if uh, you know that uh, Tuscania it is known as the province of Italy, having uh, uh, very beautiful fields of lavender in the countryside. And the Long Via Roma is a shop that uh, uh, inside has uh, only uh, products made of local lavender, so soap, uh, cream, uh, oil, uh, and uh, uh, the, uh, the Long Via Roma is a smell of an incredible smell of lavender. Uh, the festival um, is organized uh, first uh, first first uh, uh, weekend of July uh, in honor of the lavender. The lavender is in bloom uh, beginning of July. So um, during the festival uh, all the town it is colored uh, in purple uh, as the color of the lavender when it is in bloom. So we are at the parking lot. Uh, on the left is uh, the medieval... Don't let your dog poopy on the floor. <laughs> Inside the wall, more or less, uh, uh, 2,000. 2,000 people inside the wall, but uh, 
Uh, in the modern era, uh, also in my town, I live in Tarquinia, we have uh, a very beautiful medieval city wall. We have a very, very beautiful medieval part of the town, but uh, we do have the residence uh, uh, So this is the place where it's possible uh, to buy something made of local lavender. I told you that uh, the sky is famous to have a field of lavender in the countryside. Look at them. An incredible, beautiful uh, uh, part of the countryside. This is characterized by fields of lavender. Uh, and she's the owner of that beautiful place and she's the owner of the, the shop. <laughs> <laughs> Stop crossing in front of the camera. Only three, I tell you more about uh, the production of extra virgin olive oil in this area and some notice about the extra virgin olive oil you will find uh, on your table. So the farm is a very beautiful place. Uh, the extra virgin olive oil uh, came from the olive trees you can see on the left. Uh, and the oil is produced in this area.
restaurant, the white bread in Italy, where it's possible to taste uh, only something coming from the vegetable gardens of the farm or from the vegetable gardens nearby. So having a dinner or a lunch in, uh, in, in agriturismo be, meaning be sure to taste only something coming from the, the area. Uh, the Valentini farmhouse uh, has uh, um, thousands of olive trees. Uh, and the, fa the family is uh, among the more important producers of extra virgin olive oil. In this farm there are olive trees from five years old to three hundred and a half years old. Uh, so the, the, um, the little trees uh, need to be divided into three branches uh, before to be planted. Uh, if you look at them you can see that uh, the trunk is divided into different branches because it is necessary to have a more large than high tree to obtain a good kind of extra virgin olive oil. Um, after five years uh, the, mm, the olive tree trees are ready to produce the extra virgin olive oil. The best production is uh, uh, after 12 years uh, and after that uh, so on over time. Uh, 300 and a half years old olive trees, uh, they are able to produce a very good kind of, excellent kind of extra virgin olive oil. Um, the best way to harvest olives uh, could be by hands, uh, but it is impossible having a thousand of olive trees. So uh, the farmer are helped by tools. Uh, uh, some of them are very similar to the fingers, uh, it is not here, but uh, tools very similar to the fingers, otherwise they have the, the uh, sort of machine that shake the leaves, the olives fell into the nets uh, ready to be transported into the crusher. Uh, the um, olives are, um, need to be uh, cold pressed uh, just uh, a few hours after they are harvested uh, to obtain, uh, to be sure, to obtain a good quality of extra virgin olive oil. Uh, the period during which the olives are ready to be harvested uh, is the beginning of October, so from the beginning of October to end of December, two months during which, according to the weather, uh, the, the olives are ready uh, to be harvested. Uh, to obtain a good kind uh, of extra virgin olive oil uh, in this area, the farmer, uh, they prefer quality and not quantity. So they obtain two bottles, only two bottles of extra virgin olive oil for uh, each olive tree. So a very good quality but less quantity. They could obtain until six bottles from each uh, uh, olive tree, but they prefer to obtain only two bottles, but uh, excellent quality of extra virgin olive oil. Um, the, um, they have to follow some rules, it's a clear, to, to, uh, to obtain a good quality of oil. Uh, and uh, less acidity and uh, high percent of polyphenol is uh, the best quality of extra virgin olive oil. Polyphenol are at the base of our diet. They are very important for our body. So less acidity, less percent of acidity, high percent of polyphenol, meaning to have, to, to, to obtain a good quality, an excellent quality of extra virgin olive oil. The kind of olives um, widespread in this area, they are only good to obtain good uh, extra virgin olive oil. They are not good to be eaten. 
the, the olives used to be eaten, they are a different quality. Widespread, north of Italy, and not in this area. The olives in this area are small in size and not good to be eaten. Uh, the farmer know that they have to harvest olives when they are half black, half green. Not totally black, to obtain less quantity but good quality. Uh, so they have to look to the color of the olives when they are half and half ready to be harvested immediately. Um, do you have some question?